The SEC's internal watchdog issued two reports outlining 58 steps to improve their enforcement and inspection units. Frank Rosano is a partner at Pepper Hamilton. He joins us now from Washington, D.C. to discuss the proposed changes following Bernie Madoff's Ponzi scheme. Frank has over 35 years of civil and criminal jury trial experience concentrating in securities litigation, broker-dealer regulation, and SEC enforcement. Uh, Frank, thanks for joining us. Of course, we're not going to talk about each of the 58 improvements that were rec recommended in this these two reports. Okay. Is that a little too much? I mean, could this have been condensed, do you think? You know, I, I heard uh, Jack Coffey uh, giving an interview uh, a moment ago, and he was talking about the Sarbanes-Oxley Act. What struck me about this report more than anything else is that the Division of Enforcement at the Securities and Exchange Commission has no internal controls for conducting its investigation. In essence, what this report has found is that the division uh, does not properly plan or conduct its investigations, doesn't properly evaluate the evidence that it comes up with. The investigations are subject to long delays. The staff lacks expertise. It lacks training. It, has, it lacks supervision. Uh, basic elements uh, of conducting an investigation were not undertaken by the Securities and Exchange Commission. That directly indicates a lack of internal controls uh, within, the, within that unit. Uh, so, so, so it seems like you're saying the reason that they have proposed 58 improvements is because they're essentially starting at zero here. Essentially, they're starting at zero. Think about it this way. You know, the people who work, the lawyers who work at the Division of Enforcement, uh, are in essence investigators. They are following investigative leads. Now, what do we do with an FBI agent uh, when we do, when we take him out of law school? Do we send him immediately into the field? No. You send him to Quantico, Virginia, and he goes to a school and he learns how to plan and conduct investigations. That's not the way it has been done at the Securities and Exchange Commission traditionally. They take young lawyers either directly out of law school with one or two year experience at a large law firm and they put them into the Division of Enforcement and they expect them to conduct these investigations. Many of these I'm sorry. Uh, uh, no, well, no, I'm, just, I'm just looking at a, a line here from David Kotz from the report saying, we believe that these recommendations would ensure a basic level of competence in enforcement investigations. Uh, wouldn't you expect a little bit more from the basic, than the basic level of competence from the, from the SEC? Uh, yes. Uh, I think the public is Or shouldn't is you be able to, to, exactly, shouldn't we be able to expect more than that? We should be able to expect more than that. Uh, what the SEC, the Division of Enforcement, needs to do is to reform itself. It needs to train its people better. It needs to monitor its systems better. As I said at the outset, it needs systems of internal controls. If, the, if a public company were operated the way the Securities and Exchange Commission is operated, the SEC would sue them and seek an injunctive, an injunctive action. Uh, because they don't have systems of internal controls, and that's what they need. Hopefully this report points that out and will lead the way. It's not just uh, reshuffling the chairs on the Titanic. I know that there's been a lot of press about Mary Shapiro and, and uh, Mr. Kazami reorganizing the division and streamlining it, but what is basically needed at the Securities and Exchange Commission is a system of training for these staff attorneys and a system of supervision so that uh, the problems that came up in the Madoff case don't reoccur in the future. Right, That's so, what's really needed. So Mary Shapiro now has 45 days to respond to this. Do you have faith that we'll be able to watch this process progress and actually see improvements here? I, I always have faith, but only time will tell whether uh, she's actually able to uh, create the improvements within 45 days. This is a total systematic failure of the Division of Enforcement that's pointed to in these reports. And uh, she's got a uh, heck well, of a job. She, well, she doesn't have to around. actually fix everything in 45 days, right? She just needs to respond. So I'm sure you, as a lawyer, would like to see them at least incrementally improve things here and, and follow the process along the way. Absolutely. All right. Hey, Frank, thanks so much for joining us. Frank Rosano there from Pepper Hamilton coming to us from Washington, D.C.